Who is this? T Grizzly. I like this art on the wall, and I like this Ye shit. Game of Thrones is tough. Travis Scott beanbag. I like. I always like these figures, but I don't know what the name is. Jay's logo. This is fire. Oh my god, I'm streaming right now. Just so you know, so don't say anything crazy. But um, oh my god, yo, bro, what's good, bro? You been good? Yeah, hell yeah, man. What's good with you? Shit, man. Nothing much. Just crack lacking it. Um. What? Hey, man. <laughs> my nigga, what? Man, gotta get over to kick. I gotta recruit you to kick. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell um I have your number I'm gonna I'm gonna send you what they're offering you okay. All right, bet. All right, I'm gonna let you know right now. Hey, good to see you too, man. Man, you too, bro. You been good? Yeah, man. I saw you at the fight. You was looking scared. Fucked up, bro. <laughs> I saw you at the fight. You was looking scared. I'm fucked up, bro. Y'all ain't gonna lie. If they get somebody like Grizzly T Grizzly over there, first of all, they, this nigga is an agent. This nigga Aiden is out here handing out contracts. This nigga is sitting in the office with Kick. This nigga is getting a cut of that shit. <laughs> you feel me? I'm not mad though. You feel me? I'm not mad. If you if you introducing somebody to an organization and it's beneficial to the org and you feel me to to rep it to to to, to the brand. I should be getting the cut. I'm the middleman. That's like, it's like in hip hop when them niggas had like maybe they couldn't sign a person, but they could put the person in a room with like a Jimmy Iovine or something. They get a cut. If you don't think they get a portion or a cut of that shit, sometimes niggas be like, yeah, nah, I did it all off the love. Respectfully, you did it all off the love. That's great. You did your work, but at the same time, my nigga, shit ain't free. They about the the company is about to rape these niggas or make millions. Nigga, making a little percentage, a little bit of money, but for a finder's fee is nothing. The white, you feel me? The, the white people do it. Niggas be trying to make it seem like, yeah, like, nah, man, it's all off the love. It can be off that, you feel me? But at the same time, nigga, you not getting no money, bro. You could at least be like, all right, let me get a little portion. Let me find this fee or whatever, and get your bread and get out of there. Like, I mean, like, that's, I'm not saying, and if you want, if you feel that crazy or that, um, Un un that unorthodox about it. Have a conversation with the person. Like, hey man, would you mind? You feel me? I I, I want to put you in a room with these people, but like, you know, just to find this fee, whether it be a percentage or how much or ever you think you should be, you should be old or whatever. And then y'all discuss that. Then y'all discuss that. If you feel me, if you so whatever about it, but nigga, y'all are crazy. This nigga Aiden is single handedly about to about to uh, uh catapult kick. And I wouldn't be surprised if you got money invested. Not that I'm pocket watching. I'm just I'm looking at it from a business mindset. You get kick off the ground now. Twitch has somebody to comp or like some comp with, and if and if now they have somebody to some 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 reputable some reputable and some reasonable competition because they got the the some of the top guys from Twitch. Twitch is gonna be willing to start. You feel me? Start remove uh maneuvering a little bit differently. You get what I'm saying? I, that's just how I think. I think it's good. I think it's a good thing. Cause when you got shit like Twitch that's been a big brand or something, but they don't got competitors, they don't they get lazy. They don't they get complacent. They don't feel like they have to do anything because who else is who, where else you gonna go? All the places, only other places you could stream at besides Kick would be YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And it's like YouTube is not bad, but it's like it's not a streaming platform for real. Like they're trying to make it into a, a streaming platform to a degree, but it's not really that. But when you have somebody like a Kick. And they get a certain amount of people, or they get, they bring in viewers and shit like that. And they, especially if they get in early and they're like top guys, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, man, the, the, the whole scene for gaming and streaming and all that shit is gonna change, bro. It's gonna force these corporations, pardon me, dude. It's gonna force these corporations to then go like, oh yeah, the the the, the people that we we weren't caring about, the people that like went over and transferred over, like. They're actually valuable. Cause right now, Twitter Twitch feels like, nigga, we y'all make us money, we make y'all money. Like, be happy. Really, like realistically, they have lost some top guys. Doctor Disrespect is one of them. I feel like Doc. I fuck with Doc, and and, and it's unfortunate because he be on YouTube, and I don't really be able to watch those shits. You know what I mean? Like, I should be, I should make it my 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 business. But bro, when he was on Twitch, I used to be in Doc shit heavy, bro. Lad, this nigga is funny, bro. Kyle's mad funny too, no disrespect to Kyle, but as far as gaming, Doc was that guy. Nobody is, fu I don't even think today niggas ain't fucking with Doc. As far as on gaming, on the gaming side of shit, like, 
gaming, like and his comedic value and the, his the shit mm-hmm. he brings to just entertainment. Like you can't knock that. Like Kyle's are all around, but he's not like the gaming shit. I feel like he don't got that on. My son Doc was a yo funny dude, bro. Free dude. Y'all niggas know what I'm talking about. I ain't gotta even say too much, but prime example. I think if they get Doc over there. But he on YouTube and he need to get to a contract. But if he starts talking to Doc and they talking some good numbers, that's I'm telling you that's gonna catapult Kick. And right now these guys are invested in Kick early. Like they stocks and wise, stock wise, they're invested in Kick. Trust me when I tell y'all that. Trust me. So when this shit take over and all that, whew, I'm sure, I think I'm a screwball kick today, man. Let me get out of here. I'm, y'all be safe, man. I'm about, I'm about to go. I'm about to go get me a contract. You heard? Twitch Twitch ain't really been jacking me anymore. <laughs> they don't. They don't care about the the, the little guys on a on a platform. So I'm gonna go see what's going on over there.